Tulsi Gabbard is doing what someone in Congress should have done a really long time ago. She is introducing bipartisan legislation to end the federal prohibition on marijuana. So according to Normal, Representatives Tom Garrett and Tulsi Gabbard have introduced bipartisan legislation, H.R. 1227, to exclude marijuana from the Controlled Substances Act, thus leaving states the authority to regulate the plant how they best see fit. The Ending Marijuana Prohibition Act of 2017 eliminates federal criminal penalties for possessing and growing the plant. This legislation gives states the power and flexibility to establish their own marijuana policies free from federal interference. The intent on the Ending Marijuana Prohibition Act of 2017 is consistent with the view of most voters. According to recent polling by Quinnipiac University, 59% of Americans support full marijuana legalization and 71% believe that states, not the federal government, should set marijuana policy. With the recent confirmation of militant marijuana prohibitionist Jeff Sessions to the position of U.S. Attorney General, and with comments from the Trump administration warning of a coming federal crackdown in adult use states, passage of this act is necessary to ensure that medical marijuana patients and others are protected from undue federal interference. Uh, yeah, I love it. This is long overdue, and me personally, I would more support a law that just legalizes marijuana just in all 50 states, but I know that currently in this political climate, that's something that's not feasible. But I mean, this is a step in the right direction, and certainly it's going to catalyze that change. I mean, once the cat's out of the bag, you can't put it back in the bag, and once one state you know, Colorado and uh, I believe Washington were the first two to legalize pot. Well, then we saw other states fall, Oregon, Alaska, and now we have marijuana in a lot of states. So there's no way that you can undo what's already been done. So the time is now to end the federal prohibition on marijuana. I think that this is a win-win situation for anyone involved. And I've, I'm just puzzled because this is a missed opportunity for both parties. Democrats right now, they're so lost. They currently have no idea how to reach out to millennials. This is how you do it. If you come out just swinging in support of marijuana, you not just win some millennials back. You win libertarians. You win conservatives because this is popular across the political spectrum. People don't like being told what to do. The anti-marijuana people have lost. They don't have a winning argument. They're on the wrong side of history. And this is what these states uh, and the federal government and Trump's administration don't realize. If you end legal marijuana... People aren't going to stop smoking marijuana. They're just going to go back to buying it on the black market. But what you do end is the state's ability to tax and regulate marijuana. And then all that revenue, the millions of dollars in Oregon and Colorado and Washington that's going to states, uh, going to schools, that is now gone. It goes to the black market. So that's a missed opportunity. That's stupid. That's not good policy. Public policy is supposed to do something that benefits the public. And if you make marijuana illegal, not only does that criminalize something that people should be able to do because it's safer than alcohol, but you make it so that way states don't get this revenue, which is why governors such as Kate Brown in Oregon have come out swinging against Donald Trump's intentions to crack down on marijuana. And let me just say this about Tulsi Gabbard. She is building a really impressive resume for herself in 2020. I mean, if she decides to run for president, she's almost guaranteeing that she'll have support from progressives, not just because of this, but I mean, she also introduced a bill to bring back Glass-Steagall, and she's also one of the few that's willing to tell the truth about the U.S.'s involvement in Syria. So this is a political win. I mean, you cannot lose with this case. The Puritans who are against legalizing marijuana, their days are numbered, okay? They don't, they, they, they can't win this battle. It's a losing battle, so it's time to get on the right side of history. It's time for both parties to come out swinging for legal marijuana because the train has left. The cat's out of the bag, you open Pandora's box, it's legal. And uh, making it illegal will not change the amount of marijuana people smoke. In fact, if you make it illegal, we're probably going to smoke more just to spite you because it'll piss us off. So look, overall, this is a huge step in the right direction. This is hopefully going to have a domino effect. And once this federal prohibition falls then states might be more inclined to legalize marijuana. And that might put us on the road to 50 a lot sooner than it is now because states are reluctant to legalize marijuana when you have this federal prohibition because the supremacy clause does override state laws. So it's time to end the federal prohibition on marijuana. We need to stop regulating it as if it's a dangerous substance. Allow states to do this and allow it to be legal because grown adults can do whatever they want. 
Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.